So the wiping process is really a fairly important part of this step and it definitely eliminates any chance of having glue ridges and glue lines show through when you start to put your finish on. And you can see that lifted back here. That's not a problem because that glue is still very wet. Lays right back into place. And again then we'll just go ahead and wipe this off. One more little pass back into there. And just brush it right into there. Main thing is that you don't let the glue get ahead of you. Just pace your work to where while we're doing our brushing and wiping, you're always working with the wet glue. And I like to, I go through a lot of these towels. Once they start getting glue contamination, I get rid of them. They work the best when that glue's being absorbed into the fresh. And we'll go ahead and get this elevator section in place here. These little work tables are very handy for this. These came from, I believe, from Harbor Freight for about $12 a piece. Very inexpensive, and they make a real nice work surface. Okay, we showed how to lay the tape on a stabilizer around the hinge area. Now what we've got here is the elevator section. This on a Citabria uh, GCBC. And we said before we got a, a different diameter of tubing on this. Go from a large diameter tubing to a small diameter. We're going to take a two inch tape here. This is a straight tape. Just going to pull it around here and come past a little bit. Like I say, we like to leave a little extra length. Better off a three inches too long than a half inch too short. And cut the tape off. This is a piece that we glued just a few minutes ago. And that only laid there while we were demonstrating the tapes on the other surface. So you can see it doesn't take it too long to dry. Again, we're going to fold the tape in half. And again, when you lay the tape, Make sure you lay it with this crease down. We've got our glue along here. It's tacked up. I can touch it, but it's real sticky. Kind of like a post and sticker paper. And what we want to do is just try to keep our crease as well centered on that piece of tubing there as we can. Because this is forming our center line so we get an even wrap on our tape. Again, you can see this is a standard tape. It's not a bias tape. We're not pulling this real tight. Just putting enough pressure to just kind of lay it down into this piece of tubing real nice. And again, keeping it centered over the tube. And that looks real good right there. Okay, just going to rub the other hand again. It's there. It's going to stay pretty well put. But again, we don't want this to move, so we're going to just hold this down. We don't want to get any shrinking out here right now. We're going to hold the little wings of that fabric down, and we're going to just heat this perimeter. You can see a little bit of a glue line forming there. When you see that, you know you've got a pretty good heat bonded area right there. What we'll do is just lay this panel down. And what we want to do is form this tape so it goes all the way around this edge. To do that, we're going to use just a little bit of heat on it. We're only going to use what heat it takes to get that to shrink. You can kind of start on the outer edge of the tape and see it pucker and wrinkle. That's really kind of a good thing. What we want to do now is take our iron and just run this in here and you'll find that starts to shrink that tape. See a little shrink coming on it there. We'll come part way around that radius. And start at the other end here. And keep pulling it in. Okay, step back over here, Bill. In again, just bring it right on around. 
You can see how easy it is to take a non-biased tape and get a very nice finish around the edge of this surface. <clears throat> I actually prefer coming from this direction. I can kind of see what's going on with the tape just a little bit more. We can see where our lay comes around here. So we can actually start about right here somewhere and just kind of run a pink. We want this to be able to blend. So we'll just kind of pink this edge off around here like this a little bit. You can kind of get as artistic at this as you want. Kind of bring it around and that'll let that finish off. You notice this is the airstream that's flowing this way. We like to let this tape finish with the airflow. So that's one reason we laid the small tape first. And again, we got a pencil mark. Not a big deal to pull it loose. So we can get into here. And we can go ahead now, follow our pencil lines, make our cutout. Beauty of this, our glue's working for us. We can pull it loose. We're not getting our hands messed up. We're not working in a bunch of wet uh, glue. Look how nice that finishes there. Flows right in. Now to glue on this, it's the same procedure, except now we're going to just lift the edge of the tape up and brush glue around here like this. We're not going to pre-mark it like we did before. Main thing, just wipe some glue under there. And then brush it down through the tape, down roughly to where our center line was. Keep in mind we're doing this a half at a time. Get it nice and uniform color. And again, use your paper towels. And I go through quite a few of these. These are an inexpensive, expendable item. Just wipe the surplus off. Notice I like to wipe to the loose end here, especially with the first pass. Any creepage of the tape, it lets it come out and push out the end here, and we're not creating wrinkles in it. You know, if the tape tends to try to move a little. Okay, one thing we need to mention when you're doing your tape radiuses here is that, uh, of course, we heat shrink this, and the uh, temperature of the iron is important. That's what controls the shrink. Personally, I like about 300 degrees, 275 to 300 for a nice open radius like this. If you get a real tight radius and with a three inch tape, you're gonna be pushing iron right on up to 380, 385 uh, to be able to get that much shrink. You gotta keep in mind, a lot of people say, well, gee, that's, that's too hot for the fabric. But keep in mind, your heat is concentrated on the tape. You're not ironing out here in the open area. This is a very small area here. These irons lose heat real fast, so you're not really causing any detrimental uh, changes to the fabric by doing that. But generally, about 275 to 350 will do everything you need to do. Most of your surfaces are open areas like this, so you don't want to shrink the tape a lot, but just enough to get the wrinkles out of it and let it tighten up around the radius. So you experiment with that, uh, you'll find what works good for you. But again, somewhere between 275 and 350, depending on the radius of the of the area and the width of the tape that you're working with.